just one second. Remember when you you were a kid and your mother would give you these little dolls where you had the father doll, the mother doll, and the little baby doll, and they all fit inside each other. Well, they had to be a certain kind of shape so that they all could nest one inside each other. And this possibility of embedding requires this perfect shape. And it appears that at this moment of compassion, when we feel heart harmonics that are so ordered like this, it's because we literally create a shape inside ourselves which is so much like the shape outside ourselves that it starts this little implosion, this suction, this fractal attractor, which is literally the turning inside out of the heart's magnetism made possible because the inside looks like the outside. This is called becoming self-similar, which turns out to be the principle of fractality or perfect embedding. So now we can look back at our animation and see how the squirt gun completes itself how that progression through the speed of light happens is because this wavelength and this wavelength and this wavelength are all in golden mean ratio. So they stand on each other's shoulders and they add and multiply recursively. And what they add and multiply recursively is not just their wave velocity, I'm not just their wave length, but their wave velocity. So what happens is that the wave that comes out the end of this what's called heterodyning or perfect wave interference is that in radio theory, when the wave fronts stand on each other's shoulders, they create a squirt gun effect where the wave front can be pushed not just as wave length, but as wave velocity. And when that happens in perfect embedding, the wave goes through the speed of light out right here. And that's how you get that squirt gun through the speed of light, which may relate to our ideas about spirit and ensoulment. Now we're going to begin to understand how you have this, this shape of this magnetic X in your heart harmonics, which is reflected then in the cascade of harmonics where the fold of a braid on a braid on a longer wave braid all meets at one point in a perfect magnetic X in your DNA. And if the short waves ratio to the longer wave, to the longer wave yet, in that envelope inside an envelope inside a longer wave envelope, if that discipline of braiding, the hygiene in your DNA is braid dense or spin dense or charge dense or bliss dense, then the squirt gun works. And what happens is the adding and multiplying can happen inside your genetic material and you feel this implosion happen, which is the tingle you feel when you love somebody. When you you tripped over a shareable thought. You, you felt something so profound that your hair stood up. It's this magnetic rush you feel, which is a magnetic X. And what happens is that, I believe, literally, mechanically, sends that, that little zipper, that little lightning rod up the center of your DNA through the speed of light, and in a sense, into time. And I believe that we could understand that lightning rod going through the speed of light as actually the beginning of the spiritual notion of soul. So once more to review, when these harmonics add and multiply not just their wave length, but their wave velocity in perfect wave interference, what comes off the tip of this perfect little vortex squirt gun is that this wave, which is the side view of a golden spiral on a cone, has been pushed through the speed of light. And that's the beginning of the superluminal or faster than light component up the zipper in your DNA. So visualize your genetic material getting this inertia that can push it through the speed of light literally into time. And that little tornado within a tornado when it gets going that fast is the coherence that may be related to the spiritual nation notion of soul that ensoulment may be, re may be the result of this perfect braiding in your DNA. So the issue of this whole conversation is about the fact that if you lose this perfect symmetry in the braid, the mechanical structural distance between the envelope sizes, short wave within longer wave within longer wave yet, you may lose the ability to have this faster than light phenomena happen in your genetic material. What we're trying to say here in a fairly scientific way is the fact that 
genetic engineered food may cost your children their soul. And that is, it seems strange to put it a such a spiritual notion in scientific terms, but in fact I believe that's what we're very close to, is we could describe the nature of what's sacred by describing the nature of what makes a wave sustainable. And waves become sustainable when they become compressible because there's no destructive interference. Perfect compression, perfect compassion, perfect fire, perfect awareness, perfect self-reference. So quantify or measure ability to self-refer. The golden mean spiral is the only angle at which a wave can re-enter itself, refer to itself, non-destructively. So self-reference, self-embedding, may be the solution to self-awareness. So what we're suggesting is, in fact, the front end of that worm up the slinky of your DNA may, in fact, get an eyeball, be able to begin to steer itself. Remember the Buddha at the moment of the bliss and the rapture? You saw this snake or the serpent come out from the magnetic field of the pine-shaped pineal gland? And that the magnetic worm is able to steer itself around and make choices. The ability of a field effect to become self-aware, to, to have a conductor, the ability of a snake to be able to choose where to steer may depend on the fact of this perfect embedding of this magnetic X. So we're suggesting that magnetic fields become self-organizing when they emerge from chaos by becoming perfectly fractal. Golden mean ratio as the solution of perfect branching embedding may be the solution of fractality. So to become self-similar or fractal electrically may be the solution to how field effects become self-aware because they simply become ability able to respond to so many harmonics at once because you can't get an infinite number of harmonics to nest at one point unless they're in phi, the golden ratio, knit, knit by phi or in phi knit you have this sense at which the field effects concress or converge all to one point and they share one place where they can all throw their weight around at this like center of gravity and because there is this inner fire this implosion around the heart you get the ability to throw your weight around electrically you create this charge implosion which may be exactly how capacitors when they become self-embedded make gravity gravity occurs when waves become self-similar. It's the solution of perfect compression which Einstein sought when he said how does infinite compression allow black holes to bend time. Now we know what perfect compression is. We know what makes gravity charge becoming fractally implosive. We know how the heart makes a little bit of gravity because it makes centering force at the moment of bliss associated with this implosion going through the speed of light. And that implosion creates the possibility of a field effect that can become self-organizing, self-steering, self-aware. We did a presentation for the Deepak Chopra lab based on this, that we could, by doing harmonic analysis, looking for the opening spaces in the heart becoming multiples of phi, and we could quantify self-awareness by measuring self-reference. So again, we have 10 golden mean spirals, perfect self-reference, from the side view on the cone. If we revolve that spiral that's squirted through the speed of light in three dimensions, we have a map of a cup within a cup. The cup within a cup has no inside or outside, and so it solves the problem of separateness. And because the spin density in the center could hold an infinite amount of pattern or spin, it can hold an infinite amount of information. And that spiral holds the shape of the feminine organs and the Sufi heart with wings. And you could zoom in forever and always see the same thing. Perfect nesting, perfect embedding, and the heart within heart of the perfect fractal. So just to look at that flavor one more time, golden mean spiral, perfect self-reference. Just to look at that golden mean spiral one more time in perspective, Perfect self-reference, perfect self-embedding, provides a spin path to the center, perfect compression, 
which if we look at that golden mean spiral from the side view where it then does get squirted through the speed